time for you to mask up. Staying apart from each other. It is bigger than every one of us. Safety 24 seven. I'm going to participate in keeping my mask in place while I'm out in the field, while I'm walking around, as I'm visiting with people. Um, I'm just, I'm going to be the one who chooses to not be the person who gets somebody sick. At the end of the day, you know, my 86-year-old uh, grandma lives in my house. She, she goes nowhere all day long. She stays home, right? Well, if, if she gets COVID and dies, I got to look at myself every mirror saying, in the mirror every day saying, I brought that home to you. This has always been about personal responsibility, and it's been about community. And, and that's what a mask really is. It's about protecting those around you. Uh, not necessarily just yourself. Things in our everyday life that we take for granted, like carpooling out onto the Hanford site, right, um, is quite easily one of the most important things you can stop doing right, to slow the spread of COVID um, to your brothers and sisters. Wear a mask to protect our workforce. That's the key to all of this. No one likes wearing these things. It is not natural, it's not something that we do, it's not something we're comfortable with, but it's something we have to do. Uh, to protect ourselves, to protect our co-workers, to protect the mission, which is what we're here for, uh, and as well, it protects our community. And right now our community is hurting. Scientists are now finding that the face masks do offer a level of protection from the spread of COVID-19. And for me, you know, it's as simple as it's just another tool in the toolbox of personal protection equipment that's required to perform our jobs. It's definitely made me more cautious of my actions, so when I go visit my grandma or my family, I know that I'm taking safe precautions and that I'm keeping them safe. I think for the most part, the workforce is doing their job. Not everybody's happy about it, but I think they're, they're doing their part. You can um, really take with this COVID, one is wearing a face covering when you're out in the community. So if you're out grocery shopping, um, at the stores, you know, it just takes one minute, put it on, keep your nose covered. That's what I see the most is people not covering their nose doesn't help any of us. It's got to be 100% over your nose, uh, make a decent seal up here. And again, we're catching large droplets. And even if you wear the ones that seal completely, it still can't catch the aerosols. Um, so the goal is to cover your whole nose, your whole mouth, and be able to catch those large droplets. But the fact is when it was 105 degrees out here, my members were out there wearing them in the ditch. And for that reason, I'll wear them all the time. Again, while you're wearing a face covering, is, is are the things that you can do to protect yourself and your family and your teammates. Your job as a coworker, brother's keeper, that sort of thing, to uh, make sure that, hey, I'm six, six feet, six feet. And it's not rude, it's not condescending, it's just uh, trying to help everybody out. Because the sooner we can get this all over with, the sooner we can get to making glass. You know, we spend a lot of time at work. Um, most of you, most of us are working 10, 12, 13, 14 hours a day. And our coworkers really have become our extended family. And we care deeply about our coworkers, as you would care about your own family. I would urge you to practice those safe techniques at home as you do in the workplace. Follow good safety protocol processes, both at work and while in the community. Wear your face coverings proper social distancing, wash your hands, and stay home when sick.